Today on our pop-up camper, we're going to be installing the True Ride bearing kit, part number BK1-150. We'll first begin by removing the four lug nuts that hold the wheel in place. We'll need to first remove the dust cover. To do this, we'll tap a screwdriver in between the dust cover and the hub. With our dust cap removed, we'll go ahead and wipe off a little bit of the grease here. We'll need to take the retaining piece right here. It's got the yellow on it. That's what keeps the nut from backing off. We'll go ahead and take our screwdriver, slide it in behind it, and work it off. We will be reusing this piece. We'll go ahead then and back the nut off here. We will be reusing this part too. Then when we slide the hub, we'll pull the flat washer. This piece will be reused as well. Then the outer bearing will come out. We will be replacing this. There's a race that's pushed in here. We'll be pushing those out and putting new ones in, as well as we'll be removing this rear seal, the rear bearing, and the rear bearing race. Now we're gonna go ahead and use a piece of pipe here to push the old bearing and the seal out the back side. Here's the old bearing and here's the old seal. We can go ahead and throw these two away as we will not be reusing them. Next we'll need to remove the races. One's here, one's on the back side. We'll go ahead and set it on a couple pieces of wood and then we're gonna use the pipe and push the race out from the back side. Here's what the race looks like removed. Now we'll go ahead and flip the hub over and remove the other side. Here's what the front side looks like with it removed. You'll notice this little lip here is built in on this side as well as this side, and that's what actually stops the race from going in too far. Now we'll go ahead and get our new races and push them down into place. Now when putting the new races in, you wanna make sure that the tapered side is the side that's up. So this flat side here will go in first. Now ideally we would use a bearing race driver if you have one, but most people don't have this tool. So then you have to resort to using a large socket that lines up with the same diameter as your bearing race. Now you wanna make sure that the bearing race is pushed all the way in and up against that lip that we showed earlier. Now we'll go ahead and flip the hub over and put the bearing race in the other side. As you can see here, the bearing race is pushed all the way in. It's up tight against that lip that's in there. Now since these are easy lube hubs, we're gonna go ahead and put the grease gun on the Zert fitting here, and then we're gonna catch the old grease as we pump out the old grease before we reassemble the hubs. We'll keep pumping until we see fresh new grease coming out. Since these are easy lube hubs, we'll just go ahead and do a light coating on each of the bearings. Once we put the spindle and hub part together, we'll then finish packing the bearings by pumping grease through the Zert fitting and forcing it through the hub. Now we'll go ahead and pump a little bit of grease from our grease gun into the palm of our hand. Then we'll take our bearing and pack a little bit of grease into it. Next we're gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of grease here on the inner race or the back side of the hub on that race. We'll then go ahead and take our bearing here. You'll notice how it's tapered inward. So you want the bearing to match how the angle is on the race. Drop that into place. Next, we'll go ahead and take our bearing seal, set it into position. We'll then use a block of wood to tap it down flush with the back side of the hub. Next, we'll go ahead and put a little bit of grease here on the front race as well. Once that's done, we'll also add a little bit of grease to our spindle. Now we'll go ahead and take our hub and slide it onto the spindle. We'll then take our front bearing, slide it onto the spindle. We'll then take the flat washer that we're reusing, slide that into position. We'll then take our nut and tighten it down as we're spinning the hub. You wanna make sure that the hub spins freely, but yet there's no real play in it. We'll take the little retainer here that goes on the outside and holds the nut from backing off. This little tab here lines up with the flat portion of the spindle. Now 
Next we're going to need to go ahead and pack the bearings by pumping the grease through the Zert fitting here on the end until it comes out the front here. So we'll go ahead and slowly pump the grease into the hub. As you can see here, the grease is being pushed from the back side through the back bearing, through the front bearing, and out the front. When you start seeing the grease come through, that tells you that the bearings have been packed and the center portion of the hub is now full of grease. Now all that's left to do is put the dust cover back into place. Again, we'll go ahead and use a block of wood so we don't damage it. And we're ready to replace our wheel. Now we're not going to put the old wheel and tire back on. This is what came off of it. This customer's purchased some new wheels and tires. This is part number AM30780. Just the tires that were on the trailer are a little old and starting to dry rot. So we're going to go ahead and replace it with a new tire and wheel combo. And that's all there is to it, to installing the True Ride Bearing Kit, part number BK1-150 on our pop-up camper.